Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Adjusting Things Up. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm Jessica Yik from Adjusting Things Up, and today we are doing our two-week update after using the Rice Ceramide Collection from the Face Shop. So for the past two weeks, what I've done is I have changed up my skincare routine a bit. I took out the serum and instead what I ended up doing was after cleansing my face at night I used soap, um, well like a facial cleanser, and then during the day I would often reach for a micellar water such as the Rice Water Bright or the Hydrofusion one. I did end up trying out both and then after that my routine would consist of using the toner followed by my favorite Dr. Bell Myrsica Ampule. Then I would use the emulsion eye cream and the cream itself and then during the day of course I would use an SPF such as the Belief Aqua Bomb SPF. So if you didn't get a chance to check out my first impressions video on this collection yet, make sure you do check that out after the completion of this video. Today we're going to talk about what the experience was like after the first impression, such as using it at night, pairing it with other cleansers, wearing it under makeup, etc. Overall, I really enjoy this collection. My skin feels incredibly moisturized, very cushy. We have gotten a bit of a cold spell once again here in Canada, but my skin has not felt parched, which has been an incredible experience. Even after spending some time outside in the cold weather, shoveling out of that however many centimeters of snow, the snow pile was higher than my knee, but after spending quite some time outside doing that, my skin didn't feel chapped or uncomfortable. From a hydration, nourishing, moisturizing point of view, I give this like 10 out of 10. I think that a lot of it has to do with the amount of layering of the moisturizers. I think that plays a huge role in it. This is my first time ever using an emulsion and I have to say I really did enjoy the experience of using an emulsion. It was a little bit different than what I thought. I actually thought the emulsion would be a little bit runnier. However, I do feel that overall this collection, the texture of it is a little bit thicker than what I'm used to and what I expected. Even the toner I feel is a little bit it has a little bit more what's what's the word has a little bit more viscosity it just it's a little bit thicker than my other toners that I've tried it's not a bad thing not a complaint it's just different so I think that plays a big part of it because it's able to like <laughs> stick on and then absorb into my skin a lot better from a moisturizing nourishing point of view 10 out of 10 I really 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 did enjoy it uh, from a soothing point of view I did get like a little bit of chapness under my nose and everything like my kids <laughs> once again got sick but and then of course I get the sniffles but it again it didn't sting so it wasn't irritating at all. I mean, again, I'm really happy with that. One of the things that I would say could use a little bit of a fix up would be how to dispense these products. Because it is thicker, especially with the emulsion, I found that getting it to pour was really hard. I mean, if you're also a klutz like me though, it is a good thing because I'm less likely to, you know, spill it all over the place. But I do have to like tap it a bit before I can get it out. And it's not a horrible thing, it's just I'm thinking as it gets lower and lower and lower, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get out. So maybe for the emulsion, having a pump or having a slightly wider opening might be a better option. But I, I do like the idea of a pump, to be honest with you, or even the, the eyedropper method too. The scent of it. During the day, the first time I use it, I think it's because I'm in open air and everything, I did find that it wasn't overwhelming and I was able to put it on and then go about with my day without paint, uh, without the scent of the product reminding me that it was there. Now, moving on into the evening, that first night, it was a bit of an experience. So I've been using the aloe soothing cleanser that we I, I did a video on, and I did mention before that that one is also has a bit of a scent. Scent isn't necessarily a bad thing for skincare. It's there's there's two camps to this. I am an in betweener. There's people who love fragrance in their skincare. There's people who don't like fragrance in their skincare. I just don't like anything that is like constantly in my face, reminding me like, hi, you got skincare products on. I just don't like anything that's like too powerful. Powerful. Something light, I like. So when I first used this, I did notice that there is a scent. There, It is a little bit stronger than what I'm used to. 
However, during the day, it was fine because I was moving around, you know, open air and everything. So it wasn't that, that apparent. However, come to the evening after cleansing my face, and I think it is a combination of the fact that I had used a cleanser with fragrance and then using these. But the first night I was like, whoa, there's a lot of scent going on my face because like I sleep on my side, my nose is here. It's like wafing through, like bouncing off my pillow. Yeah. So it was, it was a little bit of an experience. I did try it with the Alex new cleanser, the gel cleanser, which I believe is scent free or at least has less of a scent. And it's fine with that. With the aloe cleanser, it just took me a couple of days to use it. I've been kind of switching back and forth. It just depends on where I'm washing my face that day. If I'm washing it in my kid's bathroom, I use the Alex. <laughs> if I'm washing it in my bathroom, I use the gel. That's just how I am. With that said, it, it was just a bit of the shock the first night. And then gradually over a few days, I got more and more used to it. Now, results wise, I loved this product, the results of this product. In front of my window, because there's so much light coming in, I don't think I notice as much as a difference when the, then when the light is slightly diffused. Now, mind you, I only have a before video of my skin with natural light. Maybe I can get some out of the like sitting down video when I was trying it for the first time. But in natural light, you don't see that much of a difference. But when I'm in my bathroom, even like from the beginning of the two week time frame till now, I think I've noticed a huge difference. The other thing is, I personally feel that my skin is a lot softer. I love how the skincare product feels on my skin. It feels fantastic. For the brightening aspect of it, I think that my overall skin tone has a little bit more of a glow. Now, mind you, it's only been two weeks, so two weeks is not a very long time to test out skincare products to see the results. Results? I don't think so. Uh, like, for example, when I used my Power Serums Convincible for my sunspot, it took, you know, I think like eight weeks or even longer. It took quite a bit of time. So it does take more time. I'm excited to continue using this product to see how, what a good difference it does make. But I do notice a difference. It, it doesn't pick up as well on the camera, I think. And like you'll see some redness, but I think the redness is a little bit more subdued. Uh, like for my for my acne scars and stuff. But like, look at it looks so much less angry. <laughs> and there's like no dry patches at all. Again, I think it has to do with the amount of layering and how moisturizing and hydrating these products are. And it's very, very, very nourishing. Like I really enjoy how the product feels on my skin. All in all, will I keep using these products? Absolutely, yes. I will definitely keep using the products. I am switching it up a little bit because I have a couple of more skincare products I do wanna try out, but I am very, very happy with the results of it. I think it's a great size. It's not ginormous. I think that it is a very great budget-friendly option. I think like regular prices are $12. So it's really, really at a great price point, especially for the type of moisturization that it delivers. So I'm really happy with this collection. I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're looking for something that has rice water in it, um, and something that's going to help nourish your skin, give you like this beautiful, I don't know, I, I feel like my skin has a bit more of a glow, <laughs> to be honest. Like, ah. So I, I really do recommend this. I feel that for the winter, this is a fantastic combination. The ceramide in it really does help to lock that moisture in my skin. In the summer, I think that it might be a little bit on the heavier side, especially if you have slightly oilier skin. I do have more of what I feel is a combination skin with an oilier T-zone and drier cheeks. For that, I think that I would probably, if I were to continue using this in the summer, the ceramide cream, I might switch this out for more of a gel base and only use this at night like a night cream but the emulsion is fantastic there are days when I felt like the emulsion was moisturizing enough to be honest with you because it is a more lightweight more liquidy or semi-liquid version of your cream the toner it is great if you want especially if you want to keep it within the same collection I personally still think that I like the texture of my belief toner a bit more however I might have to do a head-to-head -to, -head to really feel how how they feel on each side of my face and really judge it that way. I feel like personally, because of my memory issue, I feel that that is the best way for me to compare products is when I do them like head to head. 
I'm going to do a little bit more research on it to see how I can also incorporate an exfoliating product in it, maybe like put back the true serum, the resurfacing, because I think that will also continue to help with getting rid of these lovely, lovely acne scars that I have uh, and incorporating a serum back into my skincare routine. I really like this collection, despite the fact that it is more scented than what I'm used to, I get, but I do have a, a weird nose, so some people find that for example, the Isanox Ultimate is incredibly lightly scented. I find it almost overpoweringly scented. But for this one, I do enjoy the scent. I think it is a very beautiful scent that I did get used to over the past two weeks. It just, it took me a few days. I don't know why I'm talking. I'm talking different than normal today. I think it's just because I'm, I'm still a little sleepy. <laughs> So all in all, I do recommend it. I really do enjoy it. Um, and my skin feels great. I do notice that my skin just feels more alive. Like it just looks like, hi, I'm happier. And I, would, I did a full face makeup yesterday. Was it was yesterday, two days ago. And I felt like that there were no dry patches at all. The, the the foundation was just on my skin beautifully. It was just, it was, it, everything laid down. It didn't separate or anything. So. I'm happy with it. I'm really, really, really happy with this product. So if you want to learn more about the Ceramide collection, make sure you do go to the link in the description box. And then if you have any questions about it, reach out. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. And if you got something on this video, make sure you do give this video a big fat thumbs up. It does help out my channel a lot. I love you guys so very, very much. And until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay